guys, are you ready for this? Because it's time for Tito Pulpo! So, let's meet the guy who makes us dance on a daily basis, whether it's underneath the palm trees or around the kitchen table. With a breakfast smoothie in at the hotel's Chiringuito, it's definitely palm trees today as I make my way through the lush gardens of this stunning beach resort to meet our main man. Let's get to know the guy whose radio show and live sessions on the Costa are legendary. So you're a household name here on the Costa with your daily show on Beach Grooves Radio as well as playing sessions all over the place like this gorgeous Puente Romana Hotel. What made you head down south to the Costa del Sol? It must have been quite a life changer. Um, it was, um, and it always makes me smile to get asked the question, it was for love originally. Oh, Relationship over and he's still here? What happened? I've just fallen in love with the place. Um, it's become my home and I absolutely love it. Once you're down here, it's hard to leave. You started off as a sound engineer, moved on to producing and ended up um, a DJ and promoter. How has this journey helped develop your sound and your musical offering? Um, I think Overall, it's it's just honed what I feel um, is what my offering is at the moment. So I've been through the various stages of of the industry, let's call it. I know what I like, um, so I use all of my my expertise, let's call it, um, and put that into the music that I, I I offer today. It's it's a style that I can't actually pinpoint. It's it's just one of those that's that's got to be heard, really. Okay, <laughs> let's hear it. <laughs> seen like when you arrived on the Costa? When I first moved to Spain, the parties and the music that I loved over back in the UK, they I just it just wasn't here. Um, so I started up my own brand. Um, we got DJs involved from actually literally around the world. We had a few a couple of DJs in London, Manchester, New York, um, South America, over here in Spain, um, playing online and this was I mean we're talking well before the online phenomenon that's going on. Wow. This is 10, 11 years ago. Wow. Um, so we had that going, we were doing parties down there, we were doing the beach parties, which is the, it's based, I think the music that we, we bring in, which is like deep soulful houses, is, is based for the beach. So yeah, it's, it's here really that I've been doing the promotions and the parties. Tito Pulpo, what a crazy name. How did that come about? It's a Spanish name, it means Uncle Octopus. Yeah. And um, the lady I mentioned earlier, um, while I was in <laughs> Spain, um, her niece, she used to call me her uncle, which that's, that's how close we are, she called me her uncle. And this was just before I started DJing, she, has to, she used to have her favorite toy in the bar was a little octopus, a little pulpo. Yeah, yeah. Um, and because of my hair, um, she, she made that relation <laughs> with me and she used to call me Tito Pulpo. And I love the name, and I love the sense that's of the so cute, it. It's so cute, actually. so cute. And um, Emily, if you're watching this, for that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, what shaped your unmistakable sound of today then? My musical influence is Soulful House. I have to add to that that since living in Spain, um, it has taken on a little bit more of a bit electronic influence. Um, and I still, do, I still do keep the electronic, but these, the gospel going, because I absolutely love the Soulful House. It's perfect for the day and it's. it's, it's perfect for bringing across a positive message which is what basically we want to transmit through the music. And that's what we hear on Beach Cruise Radio every weekday from 1 to 2. Yeah, Beach Cruise, I've had the show there for must be six years now. Cool. Um, talking residencies, um, anything else on the radar for you? Um, yes, um, again Puente Romano was just kind of been talking about the residencies today so I'm here um, three, four times a week. Um, I've also got my, my residency at Victor's Beach, um, which you probably tell by the smile on my face is one of the ones I absolutely love. <laughs> um, I've been resident there now every Friday for, for three years. Um, it's, it's a kind of family kind of event, you know, it's a really cool place, cool crowd. Um, but Puente Romano as well, one of the prestigious places here on the Costa del Sol. Yeah, we're right loving right. it here. People really tuned into you during lockdown. How important is music during times like these? I didn't actually realise the impact that it was having on a lot of other people who actually tuned in and listened in every day. Even the random times that I pop in, people um, were saying how much the music, the, my music, got them through the lockdown, helped them with all sorts of stuff. 
um, was when I wasn't on live, they were listening to my mixes, they were listening to my recordings because I recorded a lot of the stuff. Um, and it was it was funny that within that time we were all kind of separated. How disconnected we really are with the way other people are feeling and what they're going through um, and what little things that you can do that you don't realise that actually will put a smile on someone's face. DJ, we want to get a bit more up close and personal. What are you currently obsessed with? Um, it's got to be music. It's the first thing that always springs to mind. What was the last thing you googled? Uh, music in the car, um, message from the wingman, not sure why. Okay, gin or vodka? Uh, gin. Where do you go to let your hair down, literally? Uh, literally. Um, not the bathroom? Not the bathroom. Letting my hair down literally involves putting the music on in my headphones really loud and mixing and not speaking to anybody about anything ever for a while until I want to. <laughs> What's your biggest extravagance in life? Oh, <laughs> I'm going to have to say at this moment in time, Ray's Tropical Chicken. <laughs> I have no extravagances, I've lived really, really simple, but it is the one that every Wednesday I always go, raise tropical. Tita Pulpo, you're on to Dar TV. What's your message to the world? My main message to the world is, it's probably the one that I sign off on the radio show. Um, it's be good to yourselves, but more importantly, to each other. Oh, we love you for that. Thank you. meeting Tita? Then do subscribe to our super cool and free VIP newsletter online at tada.tv and on YouTube too. Stick around and we'll see you next time. Bye bye and adios!